This video is going to look at methods a coach can use to support sailors to develop their tacking. What does a successful tack look like? Being able to maintain boat speed throughout and being able to exit on the correct new close hauled course. The tack can be split into a four part process to help sailors develop the skill. Preparation, entry, middle, exit. Techniques used throughout the tack. Body position used to maintain effective trim and balance throughout, appropriate for the conditions. Steering, use the appropriate amount of rudder to guide the boat through the tack without creating unwanted drag from the rudder blade. Hands are used to support the body position. Lead with the tiller extension hand and swap hands once in the new helming position. Use a squeeze, ease, squeeze rhythm with the main sheet to maximize the effect of the mainsail during the tack. Keep looking up and forwards towards the new course and watching the telltale. Footwork provides the foundation for our body movement as we cross the boat. For our example activity, we're going to simply focus on two specific techniques, body position and footwork. Using body weight to influence a small amount of leeward heel on entry encourages the boat to steer itself into the tack. Helena describes how this is used to good effect by a top of sailor. Preparing for the tack, he slides his weight forward and to leeward, moving the balance of the boat forward and to leeward, therefore encouraging the boat to head up with minimal use of the rudder. The movement of the body is smooth from leeward to windward and he stays forward, preventing the chance from digging in and slowing the boat and rate of turn. These two images emphasise Helena's explanation by demonstrating how little turbulence, white water, there is around the rudder during the middle of the tack. Secondly, we will focus on the footwork which is commonly used while tacking. Here we notice a fever sailor tucking their feet underneath their body to allow them to use the inside of the cockpit as a platform to stand, cross and flatten the boat. Next we notice a 420 helm using a similar technique with their feet pushing against the inside of the hull to help them step across and control the balance of the boat. Here are three further examples of sailors using very similar footwork to good effect while tacking. To support sailors to learn and refine individual techniques, first a coach can allow for individual practice and feedback before facilitating a group activity. Riverbank is a fun activity that provides plenty of opportunity for tacking practice. It also allows the coach to observe and provide feedback as the sailors come close to the coach boat. You need a clear stretch of water, start downwind with sailors on a beam reach. When signalled, the sailors start tacking upwind, staying between the imaginary boundary lines behind the transoms of each coach boat. If the fleet spreads out, you can ask the front boats to peel off and rejoin at the back of the fleet.